against their nearest rivals. Can't wait for this one. Let's go straight up to Anfield now from a great save with our recent prize to Kitty Eddie Ray. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi guys, welcome back to Newcastle United Arises. Newcastle United Career Mill of FIFA 15. Okay guys, since Newcastle United qualified to the Champions League for the first time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Newcastle United qualified for the Champions League for the first time, thanks to the new owner. And. Since Martin Tyler will retire from commentating the Premier League, yeah, the new replacement, Peter Drury, yeah. Yeah, FIFA 20 until present, FIFA 23, what was I say, FIFA 24, because, yeah. Amazing football, this lad, and the way he took that goal, it was a reflection of that. Liverpool have got the goal. The defenders seem to lose the concept. Wow, what a start! Scored by Diogo Jota. Alright, so. Where was I? Uh, yeah, the commentators and the analysis. That's a fine tackle. Swanson. It might be true. Yeah, Derek Ray. Newcastle United, people might forget finishing the top half of the table. They're a great from English language commentator. And yeah, with the analysis, Lee Dixon. Yeah, from the Premier League to Bundesliga commentator. Yeah. Oh my god, my my hands are watery. Yeah, I lost once and draw once. It's one one. And it's all 
Yeah, we've got 20 and 23, Derek Ray and Lee Dixon. Looking good, this move. He went in well. Ah, fool. Seriously, why you cannot defend well? We got nine Premier League matches to go. My gosh, their offense are so damn powerful, so damn good. Now I need to fight back here. Oh, Brad Jones, what a save. He clears it. Wait. Ah. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's a good tackle. Okay, good. And it's full time. Next match is gonna be Timeler Derby. Oh, what a block. That's not how to get rid of the ball away, man. I was going to pressure them offside. Onside! How did Jan Lovren is struggling somehow? Martin! They are in front at last. Newcastle in front. It might be decisive for the title here. Now we gotta do substitution here, so let's go. Okay. Um put him there actually, there you go. And I think that's the last one. Let's go. Coming up for you, of course, on EA Sports, the presentation of the Barclays Premier League fixture, Newcastle United. They'll be facing Sunderland away from home. Going to Stadium of Light for a Tyneware Derby. Oh. oh, I missed. That's a foul.
Oh my goodness, that was close. Oh no! The true ball is not helping at all. Of course, Chuka is there and Alex is there as well. That's good. It's Williams. It's a very crisp challenge there. Oh, whoops. Supporting player alongside. He's gone and won the ball with a very good tackle. What about Liverpool's next game? Yeah, they're playing Hull City, aren't they, in the next match in the Barclays Premier League? Tigers. Casey Stadium. I do believe. For the next match. Cross, Alex. Cross. Shots blocked. Both of the shots blocked. Damn it, no. Pachuca, it's on the post! Oh my god, that was close! Lucas. Roman. Come on. Hang on. That passing is top class. And run faster, come on. Yes, I can. Oh no! Lucas. Ah, quick play, quick oh, as well to avoid this good block. Lucas. Yes. It's a goal by Caden. Wow, crazy, very, very crazy. And the scoreline is 3 1. Stefano Akaka. Pass back again. Here's the shot count for you 10 shots, 10 on target for Newcastle United. There's been no wastage here, has there? Really good from this team. They play it wide now. 3-1 here, and that could be that really, oh. given the lack of time left. What do you think for the next game? Against Sunderland. Castle United go up against Sunderland. After the Black Cats this, I think they'll against the Magpies. In good mood, given how they played out here today. The tour want to make an alteration. They're going to bring a new player on. Roman. What a goal by Ivan. It's 4 1. Well, it does absolutely wrap it up. No mercy, they're still going right to the end for an emphatic win. Yeah, they've been really ruthless here. The game hasn't slipped, they kept the pressure on. Well, no shortage of goals today. 4 1. Sebastian Quartet. Lovely. So Europa League semi-final against Zenit St. Petersburg. Okaka Chuka scores as a consolation goal. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Liverpool rushing the ball back for the restart, but not going to change the outcome of this game despite this late goal. No, I don't think so. Good response, though. No complaints in the goals department. 4-2. Well, that's a moment for at least the fans to treasure. They've seen their team score today, but not too much in the grand scheme of things, is it? No, I think they, they realise. And with a chance. What a goal. 
Yeah, UCL, I know. Because UCL's next season, 20, 23, 24, and guess what? This one as well, yeah. Hello, Safwa. Okay, guys, we're going to Time Wear Derby. Trying we are derby. Yeah. Okay, Sakwa is here, like I said earlier, after full time against Liverpool, 5 2 victory. So uh, here we are, Newcastle and Sunderland, Alan. Yeah. A lot more mm -hmm. needs to be said. It's uh, always a tie that's full of passion and emotion. No different here. Newcastle United, your thoughts, Alan? Yeah. Where they 13 points ahead, if you can see correctly, yeah, over the Liverpool. Alan, you and I have been following football in this country for a long time, and uh, it is amazing that a club of the size of Newcastle haven't won any trophy since 1969, and any domestic trophies in 1955. It is incredible. After a long, long wait, they have finally won a trophy, yeah. Any stability, yeah. Adam Armstrong is a rotation player, so I have to put him in. Newcastle United, a good side they look at the moment. They won away their last game against Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, 5 2 is impressive in anybody's language, Martin, and uh, I think they can follow it up with another win here. Rene Cabala. Armstrong. Great chance. Here's the chance. And it's a goal. 1 0. That's around the air conditioner. BTS Army News, um, Jungkook was falling asleep in the live stream there. Yeah, I know. Because I just remember that the news.
Oh, come on, pass Alex. Uh, how come you pass it late there? Shot too early there. Game involving Manchester And he scores. Okay, Sakwa. He scores the penalty there for the citizens. It. It's Armstrong again. Good header, good goal. Magnificent. Yeah. Fletcher. Uh, Stephen Fletcher to uh, Stoke City. Club, yeah. So, uh, we'll see how they manage without him. Yeah. I think he needed to change, really. His uh, career has come to a standstill, so it would do him good to move. It's on the road to Stoke City. I'm not sure, is it Cannon for that one? In real life? I kind of forgot about that transfer, so. I will take it out after the first half is done. Or possibly after a goal from either Sunderland or Newcastle. Right now he's playing for Dundee United. Away we go for the second half. They've got a really healthy lead. It's been a one-sided first half, that's for sure. Okay, so Stephen Fletcher did play for Stoke City in 2020 until 2022. Well, that aged well, game. Really aged well. And I know he's playing for Dundee United for Steven Fletcher. Next match against Super Spurs. 
get excited about it. And I am as well. You know what, guys? Let's make them Spursy again, just like oh, in real life. And yeah, sorry, Tottenham fans. I know it hurts, but my apologies if I will do that again. If I'm gonna do that again. Okay. Missing the players for both of these guys, so. Not even Alex. Um, let's go. Kieran. Martin. Hey, wait, where's Ivan? Ivan's there. Um, let's, let's put Ivan first. And for the defender, let's go with Andy. Sunderland there. What a strike! Ah, what a strike! What a volley! What a bicycle kick! But he missed it. How did he miss that? All right, guys, got the win, and Spencer. I think Savoy is back. Yeah. Yeah, so I was back there. I heard the background noise there. Whoops, lost the ball there. Jones. Yeah. Axel shoots and a goal. The Gunners against Sunderland. Oh, he lost it. He lost the footing there. Oh, the cross is not good. It's going to be a throw here. Axel, oh no. Morales. Here and go. Oh, what a block. Player in the way there, and he's deflected the ball out of play. Alan, what do you think? Costa Pantilli Moon. 
struggling, he's struggling. I thought that shot was deflected to Sunderland's player, but not at all. Carrying the ball forward. Oh. Armstrong. Come on, Adam Armstrong, go for a hat trick. Go. Oh no. Got the ball back. Throw in now. Okay, guys. Come on. Ah. Oh, good save. He's on side though. Jan Matt. Oh. And he was like, like that. Shot from long range. Shoot, shoot, shoot is his philosophy, and it pays off time and time again. Didn't he just? He's a long way out. The keeper had absolutely no chance. It was a strike of real power. And he got his reward for it. It's the high fives here. Five nil. No surprises here, Alan. Not at all. No, and uh, they've been dominant really from start to finish. They they played some really attractive, expansive football and fully deserved of what looks like being a good win. Five nil still. The referee checking his watch. What does this mean for their next game? Well, Newcastle United go up against Spurs. Played with a lot of freedom out here. I'd be really pleased. Trainer. Ah, oh. wow. It's a free kick. The referee has decided to award. Good save. Okay, uh, I'm gonna announce here. So, Arsenal is the first goal is walked through. The second one will be Borussia Dortmund. The third one will be Leicester City. I'm not sure the Leicester City will be the last bonus walk through, but I'm gonna think about the fourth one. If not, I will. Inform you guys again. Strong tackle here. Sebastian Larson. Oh. This is an opportunity. When you concede a free kick in an area like this, you could be in serious trouble. Oh, what a goal! Sebastian Larson scores. Well, as soon as they won that free kick, you could see what was on the horizon. What a take! That's his party piece. Well, let's take another look at the. That goal. is lovely goal by Sebastian Larsen. And the score now is five-one. Well, that's a moment for at least the fans to treasure. They've seen their team score today, but there we are, final whistle. It's Tottenham Hotspur against Newcastle United. Let's get straight to Wembley then now. Not Rob London's best day at the moment, the rain is lashing down. Here's your comedy team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Spurs versus Newcastle United. So this is it, semi-final day in the FA Cup. Well, nobody remembers the losers and uh, I've been on the end of losing situations and you just do not want it. It's one of those days to forget, but a day to remember if you get through. What have you made of the new Wembley Stadium, Alan? You know, we've both grown up with the old one and the, the transition a long period without a Wembley Stadium. Starting to write its own history now? Well, I think so. As time goes on, as you have various memorable cup finals and the like, um, it, it always takes time, Martin, because we're all so used to the old Wembley Stadium. But it's a huge structure, isn't it? And uh, certainly one of the best stadiums in the world, if not the best. Okay. It's in. So it's 
Newcastle United in front. All right, now we're in front. And a bayo. Makes the challenge here. Christian Eriksen. Okay, Mikel. Keep this one. A pass with the head that's uh, worked out very well. Make it two. Go, Martin scores. Christian Eriksen is there and it's a corner to Super Spurs Screamer for Christian Eriksen there. Well, the goalkeeper wouldn't want to be beaten from there, and he made sure he wasn't spectacularly. It's a long way out, and sometimes they can catch keepers by surprise, but he was on his toes. And that uh, flag is up, it has gone out of the play. That was a fantastic save. That was, that was fantastic, Rico. Very, very fantastic there. Christian Eriksen missed the header. by Hugo Lloris. Andy! That was an easy save. I say, oh, uh, easy. That was an easy save from Hugo. Yeah. It's Axel again. This time with the header. Well, the top class goal. Oh, really good call of that. Flight it in and just make it to 
Uh, it's Jack Emmanuel Ebayor. I guess. It's Jackson. Half. Time is over and let's move on. Next match against Zenit St. Petersburg for Europa League. Ah. It's in. It's Axel again. Saved it there. After the reflection. Anyways. Okay. Savo is still deafened. And uh, let's go. Ivan. And Lucas. Yeah. Hugo Lloris could have filled out his eyes closed. Fantastic 
I'm through hoping is that uh, Emmanuel Revere has enough play time. Axel scores and he got a hat trick. He has got a hat trick. He has got or he has got he's got the hat trick. Yeah. He gets the hat trick. There we go. That's the correct one. He gets a hat trick for Axel. Yeah, this is just like the time when Newcastle destroyed Tottenham in Premier League. Well, everyone knows he's the playmaker, so if you're given the ball by him, you've got to give it back to him, and that's what they've done. Mayer. That's for Tottenham. Their next game on. They're playing Southampton in the next match in the Barclays. Southampton is next for Tottenham. I think now close to it. He's gone and won the ball with a very good tackle. Yeah, I missed the tackle. Again. Christian Eriksen. To the final of FA Cup. Zenit St. Petersburg versus Newcastle United. Europa League second leg. It is the semi final and we are underway. Oh, so much at stake, that goes without saying, and uh, who can handle the occasion better? We have won the Premier League. Oh, Axel. 
V. With this team. Salmon Rondon got yellow carded. As well as Javi Garcia. Double yellow. Axel made me simp because I simp V. V. And it's Williams. Oh. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> Dang. We won 1-0, like I said before. And... Oh. What a block. Simp! Yes, I am a simp. If I'm a simp, yes. Huge sim because it's normal, I guess. Sound Rondon. We need one away goal, okay? Because on the first leg like, they don't, they didn't score one away goal. And oh my mind. Yeah, another yellow card this time is Axel Witzel. Not Axel versus team, but Axel Witzel. Okay, let's get close on him. Stanton and Newcastle on the attack. Williams. Oh, the post. Oh, the post. The tackle there is successfully done. Yes, I do ship. Stanton. M with V. Williams. Yes, I know. Fun fact: A M V. Yeah. Animation music video. Swanson. Coincidence? Yeah. And it's Williams. It's a chance. That's the and yeah, let's go with Vam to avoid confusion. A M V. Okay. Vam, V A M. You can play that game, Axel. Two nil. You can play that game, Axel. Yeah, because I want to make him sim, right? Let's see. How about this? Advantage law applied by the referee in favor of Newcastle. Now Williams. Ow. Another yellow card. This time is Bukhan. And that's going to be the booking for the player. Oh, without question, it was not the best of challenges. 
<laughs> Good luck making me sim because mate Uzi ain't gonna work. Of course you're not gonna sim for that, Axel. Martin, ah! Paul. Danny, what's up, Danny? Here's Williams. Oh. Got the tackle in. And it's Williams. Showing it's a physical game when it's a fair one, too, and that's a great challenge. Here's the chance. Off target. Off target. Ooh, I found this. Uzi with the Spider Man costume or Spider Girl costume. Williams. I'm gonna try this one. Oh, oh, no. Oh no, Martin. Don't let that curse happen for the third time. Don't let that curse happen again. And a half time. Add up the scores, and you can see who is heading towards the final. Unless they blow it, I can't see them blowing it from their side. Oh, it would be one of the all time shocks, I think, because they've been so superior in every single department out there. Well, this could be the halfway point of the cup tie, and we've got one team leading and a chance of progressing in this tournament. Well, a training team, I think, just got to pick themselves up during the half time break and come out and produce a little bit better. Oh, it's, it's a precious commodity to have. Exciting 45 minutes in the bag here, but whether the results in the bag, we'll see. Semi-final of the Euro League, second half has started. Yeah, there were some interesting tussles down on that pitch in the first half, and uh, a little bit of aggro as well, I sense, between some players. Oh, no. Also, yeah, Spider Uzi, yes, but sadly, ah, fail again to make Axel Sim. Control and a chance to move themselves, but we'll get up the pitch. It's not easy to sim someone. Well, unless if they are a huge sim. So Leicester City at King Power Stadium. Yeah, it's not easy to sim him. Alright. Efforts takes efforts take time. Oh off the balls. Effort takes time, effort takes time, all right? So... Oh, damn it! It's... It's a good shot from... Martin, but no. Ah, oh, the bar! Damn! Okay. Okay, so let's go. Remy Cabela and. Let's put Emmanuel. I'm gonna show him a bit. Remy Cabela, I think I'm gonna put him in because. That's one person I need to put in. It's. Armstrong. And I'm gonna put Kieran as well. I'm not sure this is a good one, hopefully. Hopefully this is a good, good move. Oh. 
Well, that would be a throw. Well, this is where substitutes are important. Who and when. Come out to the wingman. Stanton. Oh. That's a really good try. Good try, but, but too... Confidence in yourself to do that. Ooh, too high. United leads on away goal. Goalkeeper is there for him and he's played it to him. Stanton. Oh. Axel Vixel. Oh. Javi Garcia. Oh, how come did you not run faster than that? Offside. from the manager whose team is trailing to get an extra potential goal getter into the team. Yeah, and he's a good player this night and if he gets a chance I'd fancy him to see if he can score. Ah, oh, no! Into the wall! Very near the end now, but Newcastle have got a corner. Ah. The player himself and his teammates because it could have made all the difference. No, it would have been so decisive that, no doubt about it. Armstrong. Now Williams. He's been challenged now. Well, we're on the edge of our seats here because this game could still go either way. Chance to salvage something from this match. Crowd uh, maybe expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Axel Vixel. It's a 2 0 victory. Today, 1 0 victory on the second. And leg, but two nil victory on aggregate. And it's a one nil win against Tottenham Hotspur. 
It's late in the season. They are on top of the table. And won the league already, guys. So Liverpool got three matches left, and we are the one league. And so the trophy ceremony will happen here. Yeah. And yeah. FA Cup. Europa League and then the last day of the Premier League first season. Oh. investment in terms of buying players and buying quality players it, it seems to get increasingly difficult doesn't it Manchester United you would imagine they're going to come back to join Arsenal Chelsea Manchester City and Liverpool now of course so uh, it seems to get even more difficult than the likes of Tottenham Etienne Capu has a real pass up for the ball Side. Shoot it, Ivan. Good. Yeah, I'm still alone right now, still waiting for Safwa. And yeah, still waiting. Lost it. Musa Dembele, Christian Eriksen, Benoit Asu and Cotter. In comes the challenge. Roman. Kaden. It's in. Oh. 
the C point. No! Wonderful finish by Alex Trainman. Ooh, hit the post, follow up! Christian Eriksson scores! That was a smart move, Adebayor. Hit the assist just like that. Seven Premier League matches to go. Oops. Well Lost the ball somehow. That's a very good interception. I didn't even press X. Ah. Oh. Anyways. That's a proper old fashioned clearance there from the defender. Well, here's the goal again, Alan. That was a lovely finish, wasn't it? Lovely finish. Cheeky move by Alibayo there. Saved by Hugo Lloris. And that will be a corner for Newcastle. Reese Jackson. Oh, good try, but I thought I'm gonna score from there. Vicious effort, and it nearly produced the great reward. Yeah, almost caught the goalkeeper by surprise as well. Armstrong. Oh, man. Half time. Half time whistle has gone, and it's 3 1 here. Going to be treacherous conditions in the second half because the rain is still coming down and the pitch is getting wetter and wetter. Emmanuel Adebayo. Okay, now I need to fight for a win here. Watch out, Adebayo. Yes, shoot it! Oh no! Oh man! How come you cannot shoot from there? Darn it! Alright, so... Okay, two players first. They can't score from there, that's basically 
speed defending and safe defending. And here we are, a double change coming up. Damn. Lewis Holtby. And coming up for you on EA Sports, that Premier League fixture, Newcastle United, they'll be facing Leicester City. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Oh, Leicester City, not away from home. So, okay. Not going to King Power Stadium, but next match still in St. James's Park. Ah. Okay, Armstrong is going off, and it's time for Martin to shine. Federico Fazio. Newcastle want to make a substitution here. Oh, fool. Oh, oh man. It's a good tackle. I don't know how. Substitute coming up for the away team. As for Tottenham, their next game, Alan. Yeah, they're playing Stoke City in the next match in the Barclays Premier League. And uh, I think they're going to host hope. In towards Adam Okay, next match for Spurs against Stoke City. Ah, no! Whoops, that's a bad tackle there. I missed it somehow to tackle the ball. Oh god. Offside. Yellow card for Armstrong. A striker caught yellow card there. He got yellow card before he got sucked out there, okay? And it's a goal. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
comes in with a tackle. Morales. And it's Tottenham who are in trouble, despite their best efforts. I missed. Well beaten, as the scoreline tells you. Axel! Fantastic goal. You don't often in games get the opportunity like this, Alan. I'm sure you remember from your own playing days when you're so far ahead and you can actually just uh, relax and try and win by even more. And they've scored again. Yeah, bit of a that, uh, I think even the defenders now will be trying to get upfield and get themselves on the score sheet. Well, they pulled away. And Let's make it 6-1 just like in real life. Let's make them Spursy. It's good to know how much longer there is. This wasn't always the case when I started commentating. We've got two added minutes. Two minutes of additional time. And that's it. And there is the final whistle, and it's a win for Newcastle United. Oh, I thought there's gonna be the trophy ceremony, side, but I was wrong then. The because after the Liverpool the lost to West Brom, yeah, Newcastle won the Premier League, but after this match, there is no trophy ceremony somehow. I then. If you say so, and we're going to FA Cup final against Arsenal. FA Cup final day, one of the great days in the calendar, occasion watched by pretty much every country in the world. It's our privilege to be here. Alan Smith, yeah, special occasion, Martin. I've got a little shiver down my spine just being here up on the gantry. Can't wait. Newcastle versus Arsenal, FA Cup final. Referee Kevin Friend. Alright, I'm gonna put Emmanuel Riviera because after the match against Everton, not even enough play time before the FA Cup final. So that means we're gonna put him three until four times. And yeah, Europa League All English Finals against the Red Devils. They won 4 3 on aggregate against Marseille. Ah, oh. it's Podolski. Oh, Jack will share. Mathieu Debussy, well, for the next couple of hours or so, he's got to forget friendships. Yeah, Mathieu Debussy, yeah. Yeah, well, they know all about him, and they know what a good player he is, so they'll be guarded. Walsh Schmidt. Oh. Cleared it now. Yeah, Safwa is still definite until now. But I know I'm still waiting for her, alright? Gone retired, okay. Last time, like I said in uh, previous videos, last time is Abu Basak Sekir. Oh. Now, this will be the final part of the first season, and season two will be part number, I don't know, I don't even remember. 
Emmanuel Riviere. Oh, hit the bar. Throw in now. Okay, Alex has to Reese, Cross, Hera, Adu, the goal, Pale, there's two defenders, one on one. What a save, Rico, good save there. Tires. However, for Alexis Sanchez, Inter, Manchester United, Inter, and then Marseille. I'm not sure. Alexis Sanchez unlikely bring back the best form, I guess. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna check out his form. Is it good or not? Good form, very likely a good form there for Alexis Sanchez. 35 appearances and 14 goals. I was wrong. There is no news about Alexis Sanchez being good or not. However, he did good. Another one, it's Kaden. And yeah, Marseille's anniversary 31st August, just like Malaysian Independence Day. Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysia Independence Day. Yeah. So we reach half time, 2-0 the score with Newcastle United leading. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest of the match. Looks like the un four teams relegated instead of three. Oxer, Jackio, Troyes and Angers. Angers. Four teams now, guys for the league un instead of three. Alright guys, so let's go. Second half against Arsenal for the FA Cup final. Stadium. 
and sit back in it for the start of the second time. Wow. That was really, really too much there. Yeah. Well, actually, there's the Europa League final and last Premier League match against West Ham. Okay. Uh, Newcastle against United. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Newcastle play on away or home. But I know the finals is not. In England, right? And it's Williams. That's very well read. And that's a very good interception. Dang it. Good the Russians play, play on, I don't know how. Thank goodness it didn't stop playing there. So, okay. Matthew Debushi. And counter substitution because. He needs to rest for Emmanuel Rivier. And um, let's go with Lucas Mora. Hope it's okay for Kane and Henry as well as Alex. Alex Trainman. Oh. Whoa, be careful, Alex. Oh, Mati Debushi. He's got the ball well to set his team on the front foot by intercepting. Oh no! I thought I go to the left. Chambers. Oh, Chambers has it. A good piece of defensive clearance that was. Stanton. Just missed the tackle there. They were cheering a goal, but see how close it was. Off the woodwork. We all thought that was going to pull to the net. It's a triple substitution. There's me. Yes. West Brom Albion in the next Albion for League. Arsenal. I think they're going to win it easily. Gibbs. Oh yeah, Adam Armstrong. Oh, it's okay. Oh, he's not upset. But I will put him on second half of Europa League. Offside. Now for Arsenal. Mayer. Swanson. Ivan scores. Lucas. 
Spencer. In the game to this point, eight shots, six on target. Oh, about time you're back. I've been waiting about a couple of hours or a couple of minutes, I should say. Uh, yeah. Busy, I guess. I know, you are busy. But I'm still waiting like we take. Okay, I'm alone like I don't know how many matches I'm alone there. I can't count. Martin! What a fantastic bicycle kick by Martin Zwenzen! And Southwest back after a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so for this part, just only Southwest in for featuring my friend. Final victory, guys, and we get the FA Cup victory. Got the double. Such a historic competition, and their name is now on the list of winners of the FA Cup. Well, nobody can take this away from those players. It's a special competition, and believe me, it's a special feeling once that final whistle blows and you realise you're the winners. The better side have won on this final day here. They came into the competition as it's one of the favourites, and they bore that burden well, if you can call it a burden. Yeah, Newcastle United wins the FA Cup. Okay, guys, we got two matches left. The FA Cup champions. Yeah. Okay. Europa League against United, the Red Devils, and last match of Premier League against West Ham United. Alright guys, let's go against Manchester United for Europa League final, aka the All English Finals of Europa League. It should be an absolutely marvellous day out. Yeah, it should be. Great buzz in the stadium. Really looking forward to this one. I must put Ivan more often. <laughs> I think all of us felt, uh, Alan, I'm sure you did, that when Sir Alex Ferguson finally retired, it would be difficult for Manchester United to immediately slot it to the same sort of levels, and of course that's what how it panned out. Well, it did, yes, and uh, I would have liked to have seen David Moyes get a little bit more time, but that didn't happen, obviously, and now we move on to uh, Louis van Gaal, and uh, we'll see how he can do it. And this is be, just like and, uh, me playing La Sampdoria. And well, the event is tied to Offenheim. the cavernous Stadio della Alpi. I so don't know if I. Yeah, I think Offenheim as well. Offenheim. On the same side. Newcastle. Yeah, Sampdoria. Yeah. That's three. Dreadful, so I think everybody yeah. With Juve will be delighted to get into something they can call home, really. 
Let me see. I think. Wait a minute. I don't think Porto as well. Is it Porto as one of them? Uh, let me check first. I think Porto as well. I think Porto as well, guys. Okay, so let me see first if I'm right. Hmm. Okay, guys. Let me check. That set the ball rolling in the final of the Euro League. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely fascinating to see which set of players can come. Oh, yeah, Porto Champions League. I thought it was Europa League, sorry. It's not Porto. Um, okay, Newcastle. Sampdoria. Um, oh no. Okay. Newcastle. The greatest defender of Manchester United until left to Inter Milan because of yeah, I think the contract expires, I guess. Oh, lost it there. Newcastle United know that nothing less than a top performance is going to give them a chance of winning this one. Wayne Brim. And he also is and one of trial. the. Hmm, I'm going to look up. Who? Ajay Sanchez, Henrik Mkhitaryan. Sure. That's four. One of the four Manchester United players. Actually, there's five. Actually, Young. One of the five Manchester United players played for Inter there. And there we go, guys. 1 nil. Yeah, Wolfsburg. That means Sampdoria, Offenheim, Wolfsburg, and then Newcastle. That's four. Four times already to face Manchester United in different walkthroughs there. Yeah. I thought it's gonna be Marseille to Brook. I thought Marseille broke the streak there, but no, it keeps going. Rooney! Hit the post. And it's presented to the player by the opposition. Patrice Evra, Juventus, Roman. Paul Pogba, Cristiano Ronaldo. One of the three Juventus. Players who play for United there. Morales. They've linked up well. Good save by Lindy Guard. 
Okay, so um, it's no sound from software there. And yeah. Okay, so I saw Toki through that hung, and that was very impressive there. Martin scores, Sahara. Okay, after after this match, yeah, wrap up the video, okay? Because yeah. Yeah, there'll be the Italia for both Emania Felix and Patrice Evra. Possible there somehow. And yeah, there'll be the Italia video from Four Fortunes as well. He's there too. And yellow card for Wayne Rooney. Yeah, Juventus was just in there. We that that's the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the favourite reps. I think he's one of the more experienced ones, and uh, he really gives the game a chance. Stanford. Challenge quickly by the opposition. Yeah, two players played for Inter and Juventus, and that means yeah, Derby di Italia. Oh. Ah. It's a foul. But the rest is going on. Half time. Yeah, Coppa Italia final. Oh wait, Matteo Darmian as well. I mean six. So that means the Mania Fiji is one of the six Manchester United players. Late for Inter Milan there, yeah. That means six for Inter, three for Juventus. Okay. So let's go to the second half, guys. Yeah, the parody highlights from Fortune's just only goals. Not a song. Yeah. So Juventus got more wins for Juventus for Derby Italia. Last match against West Ham United. And I'm gonna skip that match because 
Wrap up. Thank you. Rooney is there. Good safe recall. And Southport open again. And that gotta be one part finale, sadly, because it's gotta be two part finale for the first season. However, Sampdoria does as the season finale only one part, though. Part of the game, the use of the substitutes, very important part of the tactics too. We've got to change. Where's Armstrong? Armstrong must play. Squad rotation player. My, my. Quick tempo to the passing. The opposition can't get near them. Looking down at the benches. Yeah, there's going to be a change. We've got a substitution shortly to come. Wait, Angel Di Maria. Oh yeah, Angel Di Maria as well. That's four. Four for Juventus players who played for Manchester United there. Oh my goodness. Sorry. I'm not even good at how many players are there for the Red Devils who played for the Italian clubs there. So six four. Inter, 4-4, four, four, Juventus, yeah. What about Manchester United's next game? They're on a claim called City, aren't they, in the next match? In the box, it's oh, you didn't catch it! I think they'll find it pretty easy in this one. Hull City is last match for... The Red Devils. Midfield, they've got it back Seems everyone's are busy. Okay then. For today. For tonight. Oh, I lost the ball. Oh, I lost the ball. Di Maria. Now, Robin Van Persie. In it goes from Robin Van Persie. He's gone out for a throw. 
Lucas, Stanton, Axelson, Armstrong, Robin van Persie, great tackle, Angel Di Maria. Habibi. I thought I was going to be offside, but um, he, I don't know who was who, I think it's Andy or Reese will the offside, hold the offside moment there, but no, it's a fail. And it's over, folks. We did it. Travel winners. You know what, guys? I'm gonna skip that match against West Ham United. So before end the video, trophy ceremony first, okay? Yeah, European travel. Alright folks, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, my second channel and Safwa's channel. The channel links for my second channel and Safwa's channel are in the description as always, okay? Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in Season 2 for Newcastle United Arises. Goodbye for now. Bye. Oh my god, my next is Bye.